Welcome to my third attempt at building a drum spinner ant weight. This will probably fail like all my other drum spinners, but at least it's going to go out with a much bigger bang. This started when I found a sheet of scrap HDPE, um, which is not as good as UHMW that a lot of robots are made out of, but it was scrap, it was free, and I thought I'd try CNCing a chassis for once, which I had not done before. I used SolidWorks to set up all my tool paths with a 1 8 inch bit. I'm not very familiar with CNC machining, but plastic is super easy. It went fairly quickly. Next, I cut a piece of scrap aluminum tubing to make the drum, and I drilled four holes in it for two teeth on each side of the drum. Like a lot of ant weight drums, I'll just be using bolts for the teeth. And here you're witnessing my expert drum balancing technique where I roll the, roll the tubing along the table, see where it stops, and sand a little weight off the bottom. I tried printing the drum hub with TechG, which is a PETG filament, and that uh, was very brittle and shattered pretty easily. And then I also tried uh, a nylon TPE combo, which is PCTPE, and this was super flexible, super durable, uh, but I wasn't able to get the dimensional accuracy good enough for a balanced drum. So I ended up just beefing up the design and going with the Tech G. Hopefully it doesn't shatter. After screwing in the drum teeth, I epoxy on the two sides of the drum hub, the ones that I 3D printed. This is a, a hub motor design that I'm using for the weapon. This is pretty common with ant weights. It does mean that all the shock is going to go directly into that motor. Other people have had success with this before, but I haven't personally tried it. The uh, free end, the right side, is supported by a steel axle and a brass bushing, uh, which should give it a little bit of support. It's not just the motor holding the drum together. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see if the motor explodes or not. But regardless, the end result weighs 0.5 pounds, so half of this robot is going to be a weapon. I'm pretty excited about that. I had to hammer in that steel axle, um, and then I cut it off just with a Dremel tool. I cut it off leaving enough material and a little notch cut into the axle that I will be able to pry the axle back out um, if I need to repair it. When I first spun up the drum, it was pretty unbalanced, and I ended up screwing a couple small screws into the 3D printed part of the drum hub in order to balance the weapon. For the wheels, I was able to use the PCTPE, which uh, turned out to be super flexible. I just press fit the motor shafts in, and I really don't think that these are going to be damaged too much by undercutters and other spinners. Uh, you can see that the front wheels um, actually have the motors outboard um, with the motor shafts facing in. Um, I I honestly just did this because I thought it would be interesting. It's a bit of a unique configuration, um, and I thought I'd try it. Um, I attached these uh, these motors just using servo horns as the little uh, plastic piece that I screwed down into the chassis to hold the motors. And then I start wiring. It looks like a mess here. It looks like a mess in the final product. This is a kind of rushed wiring job for a kind of rushed robot. After wiring, I got it out and started driving it around, and I was really happy with kind of the performance and how zippy it was. Um, so yeah, all's going well so far. But then I decided to weigh it, and it was overweight. And that's without even adding a top shell that I wanted to add to cover the electronics. So my first thought was, let's drill some holes. But the, uh, the wheels ended up being really quite hard to drill into, so I started to shave material off of the chassis using a Dremel tool. I also shaved the uh, edges of the drum just a little bit. So then I went back to the electronics. I took the housing off of the RC receiver. Um, that saved me like 0.1 ounces. I was able to take the insulation off of the outside of that speed controller I was using for the drum. Um, and I just, that combined with shaving the chassis away, I was just slowly able to get the weight down and down to barely get under one pound. And so, with no armor whatsoever, that completes this build. Um, obviously, the weapon's going to store a lot of energy, but I don't think that this is necessarily going to be a very durable robot. Um, the gyroscopic forces make it a very big pain to drive, and I've got no experience driving robots that have this gyroscopic effect going on. Um, so, we'll see how this does. Um, it, it'll be interesting. So, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the competition video, and I've really got to stop editing and get started on that beetle weight.